And here we are queued up for Kitamura Cord Space Elite, and I have cured all my injuries from the last Cure Space Elite. Hopefully this will be uh, better. We're doing um, standard 4-1 strategy. Um, someone take left probe, someone take right probes, everyone's going to start left, and uh, we're just going to go attack this thing and see what happens. Yeah, we have a lot of firepower, that's for sure. tactical mode. I'm going to bring out the Lotus and uh, we'll see what it does on this transformer. Wait for that. There you go. At least I spawned an emissary class ship that vanished. <laughs> that didn't last long.
tachyon thing. Alright, now we hit the other side. It's kind of loud, isn't it? Loud humming thingy. Alright, we're doing pretty good on uh, this one.
All right, we succeeded. Yay! Time to take out Donatra. Donatara. Dona. Donatra. Not Donatra. Don Donatello. That's a turtle. <laughs> Time to take out Donatello, the turtle, flying in space, in her sh in, in his uh, turtle ship. Turtle power. Ah, she cloaks. It's amazing how many people don't know that if you just stay back 5km from her, she won't cloak. I poked her with my, uh, <laughs> poked her with my lotus flower, which did, it, did not do a thing. He's going to make her float because he's too close. What? I wasn't even in that. That's ridiculous. I wasn't even in her field of vision or whatever. Ah. Uh, grr. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the last kill. And my loot is hanging out here. I'm going to have to wait till I respawn. Alright, let's go get my loot bag, because I like my loots. Whee! My ship, it's an earthquake. Ah, the internal dampeners are offline. Alright, I get 60 Omega Marks, Borg Neural, Dilithium, Console, 2 Console, uh, Console, and an Impulse Engine. I don't need that. Alright, well. All right, so there you go, everybody. That was um, the Camara in all of the Space STFs. I hope you all enjoyed that. This is the 1,000-day ship. And, uh, yeah, you can get it with a lifetime subscription. Um, or you can wait 1,000 days, I guess, if you're a gold member or what well, I don't know how that works on gold system to be honest with you but I do know if you're a lifetime subscriber you get it and um, otherwise it is technically the 1000 day ship so that is it on the Federation now this is a very cool ship nice uh, thing between um, escort and cruiser um, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's my favorite ship. I think it's darn ugly, to be honest with you. It's an ugly ship. It's got nice features, but I think the design is just horrid. Um, that's my personal opinion. Um, I will not fly it forever on this character. I am thinking that I am going to upgrade this um, ship. I'm going to go with the Vesta on this character. And, of course, I will show videos of the Vesta once I get it, but I'm thinking that I'm going to like the Vesta on this character better than the ship. But we will see. I don't know yet. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, let's warp out.
Um, of course, the KDF also has an equivalent, which I have forgotten the name of, but they have an equivalent 1000 day ship as well. And I will show videos on the KDS side of that ship. It is basically the exact same thing as this, except it looks Klingon. I am not kidding. It's exactly the same. You have the same regenerative ability, the same tactical ability, the same tachyon ability, the same lotus flower ability, except it's a disruptor um, with green instead of um, <laughs> a phaser. So, um, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed that, and um, stay tuned. I guess the next ship I show will be the KDF equivalent of this ship, and we'll see what that looks like in STFs. So there you go. That's the Chimera in action. Thank you for watching.